When people talk about the beginning of rock and roll, they might mention Elvis Presley or Little Richard, or perhaps Chuck Berry and Muddy Waters. But rock and roll as we know it may never have even existed without the powerful singing voice of Sister Rosetta Tharp. With her passion and her amazing singing voice, she recorded what may be the very first recording of what we would call rock and roll, and she influenced and electrified millions of people. Tharp was born Rosetta Newbin, the daughter of cotton pickers in Arkansas. Little is known about her early life except that it was humble. Both her parents were singers, and her mother sang in a Pentecostal church. Rosetta had a short-lived marriage when she was young, and she modified her new last name when she began to perform as Sister Rosetta Tharp. Moving to New York City in the late 1930s, Tharp recorded four gospel songs for Decca Records and became an overnight sensation. Some people were uncomfortable hearing gospel tunes paired with this up-tempo music, but most people loved what they heard. Tharp played at major venues, from the Cotton Club to Carnegie Hall to the Apollo. Her performances began to include a mixture of dancers to go along with the jazz and gospel fusion, with Tharp herself playing acoustic and electric guitars. By 1944, she recorded Strange Things Happening Every Day, a traditional spiritual put to a lively strumming guitar. This recording is considered by some people to be the first true rock and roll record, and it was the first gospel song to chart in Billboard's hit parade. By the late 1940s, Tharp's popularity had begun to decline, but she was still able to attract an audience and could definitely still put on a show. In 1951, for example, 25,000 fans attended a performance in Washington, D.C., which also served as her wedding to who else but her manager. Tharp continued to perform throughout the 50s and 60s, even touring Europe with other R&B greats. Her ability to tour ended, however, when she suffered a stroke in 1970. Sadly, she passed away of another stroke three years later. When she died, she was preparing for a recording session she had scheduled for later in the day, because Tharp lived and breathed music literally until the day she died. If you're not familiar with her music, I'd recommend taking a little time to go back and listen. Her clear voice and love of performance is still audible on these recordings, even all these years later. Tharp was a musical pioneer at a time when it was almost impossible for African Americans to get popular attention, and she paved the way for an entirely new type of music that would soon take the entire world by storm. And even today, the songs are pretty darn catchy.